Jesus gets up in the Great Commission and he says, Go therefore and make disciples of the nations, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. Now that is a very important word, observe. Because there's a vast difference between go therefore and make disciples of all nations, teaching them what I commanded you. Because that's easy. You just fly a plane around and you go John 3.16 and you put it underneath the cups. You establish a burger joint. You just put John 3.16 under the cups, man. Every time I go, it's like, what is that? That's holy drink. And then all you need to do is you need to tell people. That's an in and out burger joke uh, for those of you who haven't been to California. Um, that's all you need to do. You just tell people what Jesus said and that's it. But there's a much harder thing in the Great Commission. What does he say? Teach them to what? A observe. Do you know? Wow. Now we're in a whole other stratosphere because now you have to teach people to actually observe what Jesus commanded. You have to actually disciple them. You have to take them from what they are and actually, so you need margin in your life. You need time. You need to probably spend some money on it. You need to figure out how you as a, as a, as a per, maybe a person who's a young family, you know, I see a lot of young families, they just love to always spend time together all the time, time together, time together, time together, whether kids aren't getting the attention, aren't getting the discipleship, but they're all together and together all the time. Why? Because we're just living out bad high school years. We all want to be together, want to be together, and our kids, ah, just get the kids out of here. How am I going to teach my kid to observe all that Jesus commanded I think that's part of the reason why we struggle with it. Another reason why we struggle with it is because even the idea of when you, some of you in here right now, when you hear Paul say obey, you start to freak out a little bit because you were raised in a church setting that just pounded obey to you all the time. It was just do this. Here's a list of rules. Here's what you can listen to. Here's what you can't listen to. Here's what you can watch. Here's what you can't watch. You really wanted to listen to Radiohead, but your parents came in and said, you can't listen to Radiohead. Here's DC Talk. It's just the same. And you listen to him and went, no, it's not. And you could watch this and you couldn't watch that. And there was this list of what you're supposed to do with sex. And you know, you're like, I, I'm not living that out. I can't do that. And I can't do that with money. And I can't do that with my time. And I can't do that with entertainment. And here's what happened. Obey crushed you. Because that's what the law will do. Moses will crush you. Because in that model, you've made the Bible about you. But listen, order matters. When Moses walks down the mountain with the Ten Commandments, what's already happened? God's already saved them from Egypt. Some of you were being told to obey without even being saved. You don't know him. You don't know him, so you have no passion. You have no desire. You have no power to obey. So what happens? We get crushed, and we walk out of here. And you've been gone for ten years, and you're just starting to cycle back now. Because you're wondering, maybe, yes, when I made the Bible about me, it crushed me. But maybe it's not about me. Maybe it's about what another has done for me. And now i got to live out of that place. 